I'm Carrie Wachter, reporting for Global Medical News Network. At the annual meeting of the American Society of Human Genetics, Dr. Karis Eng presented results from a study of 44 participants. We looked at the gold standard of family health history-based risk assessment to the direct-to-consumer personal genome scanning. So family health histories are a lost art, and they are actually very accurate in assessing for risk of genetic basis of disease, any disease. In this instance, we looked at three cancers, very common ones, prostate, colon, and breast. We then did a head-to-head -head comparison with the personal genome scanning as offered by a direct-to-consumer company and asked whether the categorizations of general population risk, moderate risk, or high risk were concordant or completely discordant. And it turns out, using a CAPA statistics, that it was very discordant with a CAPA of 0.2. Interestingly, though, about 40% of the risk assessments were concordant, but the rest were completely random. Most importantly, however, the family health history-based risk assessment gave us 22 people at extremely high risk, even hereditary risk of cancers, and only one was scored as high risk by personal genome scanning. I think that primary care physicians are the most important people in the front line to get a good family health history. We often do that now. We, we all go to our primary care doctors. We fill in these forms, and most of the time, they're just filed away. They're not even looked at. And I think many physicians, save a few, don't know how to interpret it. I think that they should not be afraid. If there is any doubt at all, they should refer a patient to a genetics evaluation and genetic counselor. Patients, I think many patients coming to primary care physicians, internal medicine docs especially, may bring the results of these personal genome scanning and saying, doc, but what does it mean? Right now, the meaning, the clinical outcome is not there. So the doctor at least must be aware and counsel in that manner. Um, absolutely related to this study, patient would come in and say, look, I'm at low risk. This is where our study is pertinent. Personal genome scanning misses virtually all extremely high risk cases. And those should go to genetic evaluation. And then based on the pattern of family history, validated genetic testing should be offered.